An update tonight on a story that made headlines across the country. The autopsy report is complete for the Border Patrol agent killed near Van Horn. But the investigation is not over and questions into what or who killed the federal officer remain. Agent Rogelio Martinez, known to his friends as Roger, was killed along Interstate 10 while on duty last November. The FBI says fellow Border Patrol agents found Martinez and another agent badly injured in a culvert next to the interstate on a Saturday. Saturday night. Martinez died a few hours later from his injuries. The union from the Border Patrol has maintained someone attacked Martinez, while the Culberson County Sheriff has said he believes the agent may have been accidentally sideswiped by an 18-wheeler. Meanwhile, the FBI, the lead investigating agency, has only called it a possible assault. Tonight, we're the only local news outlet to have the autopsy report detailing Martinez's injuries. Shelby Landgraf joins us now live in the studio to break down Martinez's cause of death. Shelby? That's right. The cause of death, blunt injuries to the head. This is the complete and official 11-page autopsy result from the El Paso County Medical Examiner. However, physicians could not determine the manner of death. In other words, how or what caused those deadly injuries. But this report does reveal an interesting pattern to those deadly injuries. The autopsy report details the blunt trauma all happened on the right-hand side of Agent Martinez's body. The right part of his skull suffered a semicircular fracture. The right side of his scalp had two cuts and his right upper jawbone was broken. Moving down his torso, physicians found his shoulder, right shoulder had a large wound. His right collarbone was fractured and six ribs were broken. From the pattern of the injury, it's impossible to conclude what exactly caused that blunt trauma. And that's because all you see is the injury patterns. And then you have to put that together with the entire context, the entire picture. Dr. Sudeep Bose tells us the official autopsy result is just one piece of the puzzle. The FBI is still investigating what caused the blunt trauma that ultimately killed Agent Martinez. Reporting live here in the studio, Shelby Langraff, CBS 7 News. Shelby, thanks. A reward is still being offered for information that may lead to who or what may have killed Rogelio Martinez and injured his partner, Stephen Michael Garland. Garland told investigators he cannot remember what happened that night. The reward from the FBI in the state of Texas is $70,000.